Good morning and good afternoon, Far Cry gamers. So, um, I thought I'd do a little bit of promotional work for my map, which has all of one million minus a million plays equals zeros plays so far. Um, so yeah, this is the map, and um, as you can see, we've got a bit of an island. Uh, we've got a boat. Oh, you've got to love the boat. Uh, we've got the hut, the thing in the middle, and um, this, which is a bit of a sniper's point. And um, yeah, um, so let's have a go down the zip line. Here we go. So uh, the main focus of the map, um, at this part of the map anyway, is it's very much this side versus this side, uh, this side being blue, this side being red, and let's just take, look at it from a red point of view just for the minute. Um, so as you can see, we've got um, lots of lovely greenery cover, which should uh, hide you. And we've got um, some rock cover, which will actually protect you. Apologies for the constant reloads, that's a force of habit. I'm using the PKM because it should make movement a little bit more gentle on the video. Um, and there you go. So uh, there are dips in the ground here, which mean that you can hide from the enemy fire, uh, even though it does look quite sparse. Um, coming to this point here, uh, this is kind of the middling point. Um, and these rocks, I feel, work quite well because, again, you can kind of dip down. Um, obviously, you can shoot through that when there's not you're not playing transmission um, the boat well that's flanking you um, except you can uh, jump to the rock and you know it's it's all good in every way but at the same time you can always be flanked all of this by the way is uh, you can run on all of it and it was designed in that way and for the from the few tests that I've managed to accrue uh, with one or two people uh, running through this works really well against snipers or even just people with assault rifles uh, because you're just bobbing up and down um, all over the place and that was kind of how it was designed so let's keep running so we have a tropical paradise with a tropical bar and a boat and an island oh these are the usual things I hear you say well that's very much true but let's take a wander through this cavernous cavern and through this corridor and there's some kind of console here and oh gosh look at that it turns out it was the holodeck all along um yeah i know i know it's sad um but you know here we are um in the canteen and and this is how people in the future will take their meals um and so yeah, so we've got some kind of enemy spaceship there, uh, which has somehow managed to clamp itself on. That's the cannon that did this damage. Um, and the damage is, uh, you know, it, it, it carries on through. Uh, this is uh, supposed to be the computer core, uh, in my own imagination anyway. Um, I think that's uh, the definitive answer to liquid cooling there. Um, and obviously that bit works, that bit doesn't. Um, but let's keep going. And uh, if we run along here, we get to uh, engineering. And uh, there's the warp core, just uh, for your own entertainment, or my entertainment. Now, um, I've made this map really with, with gameplay, like at the first focus, and uh, to look pretty after the gameplay. Um, hence this thing here as well, um, which doesn't look like much, but should make a difference. Now, I'm not going to make you nauseous by running rings around uh, kind of this setup here, um, but it is designed uh, to be that way. Um, and uh, this brings us nicely onto looking at the spawns. So I'm just going to have to jump back into the editor and get to the hopefully the red spawn. There we go. 
Um, let's pick this up so the movement is a bit quicker. So this is where the red spawn, obviously this is again, is the enemy ship. Uh, they've clamped onto the defending ship um, and they've kind of put their little gadget there. And this is where the red spawn from this warp point. This, by the way, I've just, I just noticed this while I was making the videos. And, um, yeah, that's the TARDIS. That's just, it's in no way a random object that I left in the map completely by mistake. So it's the TARDIS. Doctor Who's involved, uh, if you like that kind of thing. Um, so the reds, um, they drop through here. Um, it's a bit shanty there, but that's just designed so that you don't die. Um, and I was running out of objects on this point. Um, now the reds, they've got two spawn points through there and they have one here. So I'm just going to drop through here so I can show you that. Um, now this is a ladder at the moment. Before it was a Far Cry 2 style um, lift or elevator if you're American and um, it worked quite well but I couldn't get it to work in multiplayer. The If anyone wants to mod this map, uh, these walls, um, and I'm trying not to get caught on the ladder, but these walls are at the perfectly lovely angle, uh, this wall anyway, to make it work as an elevator um, or lift or whatever, you know. Um, uh, this is the warp core, obviously taking a little bit of artistic license there and I'm a cyclist so I think that's alright. It makes it feel like it's a chain and fuck it, you know. Uh, let's carry on running. Another look. Oh, there's another enemy ship right there. Those buggers. I'm sorry, I've got to stop reloading because uh, it's just a force of habit and it, it doesn't help that I've got the PKM. Um, so blinky lights and uh, things that turn. Um, this was originally, I read a forum post on the uh, Ubisoft forums which said that, oh, you can have a map as long, and you can have ammo pickups in the map. Um, it turns out you can't, which um, was great because I designed this machine afterwards. This was originally supposed to be the reload machine, so you could run through there and reload your ammo, but yeah, well, that wasn't happening. Anyway, carrying on to the blue spawn. So the blue spawn is here. Uh, there are a few spawn points around here as well, just to make sure that uh, you can't really um, camp the blue spawn too much. Um, and this random wall is here to affect to the point where you can have, um, the, the blues shouldn't really be getting spawn camped. I mean, no one can get into the red spawn, but the blues shouldn't be getting spawn camped. And if you are, you probably deserve it because you're being a bit shit. Uh, there are other spawns through the map as well. Uh, there's this drop down here, uh, which just kind of gives the blues a little bit of flexibility because uh, the red team do have an awful lot of flexibility and um, you can uh, completely run up this and kind of hide behind this and you can use it either to kind of defend engineering or to kind of attack into engineering. Um, you can't jump over this in the, in the game, you can in the editor, such is life. Um, but anyway, um, the engineering is designed to be a bit of an arena and uh, that's one of the places where red comes out and another place as well is um, up here. The reds can come up from there. Uh, this point here is not a um, it's not a random misplaced block. Uh, this was because uh, the reds could very easily um, camp that domination point um, and I didn't want that to happen um, and it would kind of make them a little bit untouchable. Uh, these textures are intentional because the idea is that it's a holodeck and that you're not really in reality. When you're here you're just, it's just a game isn't it? And so that's why I quite like the uh, 2D textures here because I kind of feel it does fit in. Anyway, I'm waffling and I'm also going to take you guys to the hut and 
Oh gosh, now's about the time that I wish I picked the Scorpion. Which, by the way, is one of the best guns in the game. If you haven't got that thing stuck in yet, then um, you're missing out. And uh, there's me being influenced by Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. And um, brilliant games. Um, they br one brilliant, two good, three. I don't know if you've ever played Gears of War, but anyway, um, let's carry on to the boat because uh, this video is getting quite long. Here is the boat. Uh, got a little bit of a Star Trek influence. There is some, uh, a few Star Trek -y elements under the boat as well. I'll leave you to explore that for yourself. Again. Um, this is another domination point here and now the idea is that this is right in the middle so reds can come up and you can fight the reds quite nicely and you can also fight the blues this is uh, designed to be a very kind of equal bunker as it were uh, something that turned up accidentally um, was the fact that if you run here you do a one swing to get there now I hope that doesn't affect gameplay too much I really did kind of like that it was an accident when it got created, um, but I just decided to keep it in because I thought it was quite nice. Um, which brings us on to the island. Let's destroy some things for nice visuals. Um, and I've just spent, this actually doesn't happen in the game. Uh, I do assure you on the multiplayer. Uh, that <laughs> That <laughs> does not happen, uh, but that is a bit embarrassing. Um, but I just wanted to um, assure you guys as well that um, I just wanted to assure you guys as well that it's um, you don't need to go to the island because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm going to swim from there to there, and that's a long way, and that kind of swim equals death, and is also annoying. I hate maps that make me swim. It's awful. I hate them. Uh, just please let them leave. But no, uh, this one is a little bit different. For a start, uh, you don't have to go there um, unless you're playing Firestorm. The last point on Firestorm is there, and there is a transmission point up there as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can see the satellite dish. Um, but uh, the point is, um, for a start, you can zip line halfway there. Um, if you're over here or if you're on the boat, uh, there is cover underneath the, all of the water. And let's have a look at that quickly. Uh, if you swim directly down, uh, you get to the cover. Um, Sunken Temple, you can swim through there if you like. Um, I really like these kind of effects, especially kind of what's happening there on the, uh, on the lion. That's fucking lovely. Um, which takes us to the island and you can hide behind the Buddha. Um, now I did somewhat rush to get this finished um, for the magnet competition because I realized quite late on uh, the difference between the physics uh, on the editor and the things that are not on the editor. Um, but you should still be able to climb up here and uh, and have a general good time uh, being a sneaky little sniper bastard if that's your thing then you'll have a whale of a time here because uh, you should be able to dominate um, unless people shoot the barrels and if they do then uh, well then things go all black and white which uh, makes it like a French film and with that my friends I leave you and there is a custom room for the end movie, um, which is a, a which is a room that I made just for the end movie. But you're going to have to play the map to see that room. And that is the map, guys. I hope you love it. It's called Intruder Alert. Um, and yeah, so have a go, play the map, see what you think. Uh, feel free to vote like. Um, or favourite, apparently that gets you to silver, but who knows, that's like going to a witch doctor. And that's it guys, and um, it's a very rough shot uh, film, filmed on my telly, and um, that's it. So yeah, um, peace out, and uh, have a good one.